Good morning, everybody. Look at this. I got a sleepy pup who's on my shoulder. And some sleepy people over here, too. Sarah's been getting all these extra snuggles because the first couple weeks she didn't get this kind of snuggle life. Sorry to disturb you with a camera. Um, well, someone is literally locked in position, can't go anywhere. Oh my gosh, we've been so cozy today. I was just telling Peter how, like, I couldn't even, like, manage to get up with how I'm laying, and then you just, like, get so cozy right here. But I said this is your life now. Like, you edited the, you, she edited the vlog already, and now she's just supposed to be a mom. Thank you for your intro, Peter, to that clip. <laughs> this, that song is actually, um, or was, the UIC basketball song, and so Peter always gets really amped when it comes on. Um, but this little baby is having another first tonight. Oh. Look at the rainbow! Rainbow's still there, and... Over there. There's the other side of it. So ah! I've never seen like almost a full arch like that. Okay. Um, it's like, it's weird. There's, most of it's not there. Right, most of it, the, the top arch of it is not. So, we're getting food tonight too, because we wanted to get here at a safe, reasonable time, but we also didn't want to cook. And we also heard of a new plant based yeah. crab sandwich or lobster, lobster, lobster sandwich. Lobster roll. Lobster roll. So we're gonna get that. The parking lot looks very good, looks very empty. And in reality, this is like, we're just coming, this is our favorite Christmas park. We haven't said where we were going. Oh, you could, if you couldn't tell by the parking lot, we're at Hollywood Studios. <laughs> so we're coming to check out the Christmas decorations, just hang out on the sidelines. James, show them our favorite Christmas decorations, show them the tree, yeah. maybe see some Tower of Terror projections. I did try to get Boarding, but I shouldn't even say I tried. I forgot to check at seven. I, I realized at 7.40 a.m. that I could have tried to get a rise of resistance and at 7.40 a.m., of course they were out. It's chilly. It is, I need a jacket. It feels good. James, welcome to Hollywood Studios. So first stop was actually baby care. Sarah is feeding James in there, but this is like a self-serve. We've got microwave, bottle heater, Changing table, TV. I think that's a second. Yeah, it's a second nursing area. Sarah, that's private. Sarah's in a nursing area over there. It's private. All these cool Christmas decorations. Look at this. The posters. And there's this area over here where there's a second set of sink, bathroom, children's use only, changing table. This is super fancy and cool. And they just like we walked in the, the baby cam. Like, oh, look at the baby cam. Like, oh, just walk to that door. And we're here. Get this little guy all set up, and we got him in a little his first ever little zippy hoodie because it's he's definitely a Florida boy born. <laughs> Has a hat, thermal shirt, pants, wool socks, long johns, long john silver hoodie. He doesn't zippy. have long johns on; it's just a thermal. Um, because it you know it's sixty four degrees outside, so gotta pull it all the stops. We forgot the blankie. Ready okay. to go? Wow! 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 This is truly my favorite park. At Christmas, it even beats the Magic Kingdom. I'm sorry, but I'm actually not sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Are you excited? Very. You hungry? Oh my gosh, look at that. I like went over getting a salad so many different times, but I'm excited.
saying right now, that was one of the best vegan meals I've ever had at Disney. And every okay. quick service is prepared a little differently because it depends on the cast member, how busy they were. It's not always. Sometimes it's a little less, sometimes it's a little more. With that one being $10.99. Plant-based lobster roll. Such good dill flavor, such good bread, such good everything. Like the quantity. If that is consistently made that way, I think it's the best vegan quick service item that Disney World has. And Sarah got a pulled pork sale, which is pretty awesome too. Well, tell him how I was so conflicted. <laughs> Sarah was so conflicted because she doesn't like salads. And then she was like, well, but it looks good, but I'm not sure. Um, All the elements look, look so good. Sound you know, sometimes so good. salads are hit or miss. So we came up with a plan that we'd get a side of fries with Sarah's salad, and if she hated it, we'd switch, or she'd get a kid's chicken nuggets later. But that was really good. There was so much of everything, and so much pork, and Sarah loved it. The house made fries were almost a little thicker and different here for my my meal. Chips. Chips. That's what I meant. House made chips. I give this meal a plus plus. Best tasting. Yeah. So. Now that we've eaten up, we're gonna. I'm gonna try to convince her to go on Rock and Roller Coaster by herself because she hasn't gone on a roller coaster in over nine months and the park is pretty empty. So I'm hopeful that the line will be minuscule that I can hang out with James and Sarah could go in the most thrilling attraction in all of Disney World. I don't know. I want to enjoy the park together. Yeah, but if it's short, if it's short, it'll be like five minutes and then we should do it. The end of Rock and Roller Coaster's line goes all the way over here, so I am not gonna wait for it tonight, but maybe soon. I don't know why we thought that like the normal flurry of fun was happening with like the music and the snow. And the little videos in between each of the big changes on the Tower of Terror, but... It's not, it's just the projections, which, which is fun. And the great music, like classic yeah. Christmas music. Right. And all the lights. Right. But just that we, not like the normal, Projection. But this is still, even with these, this version, still my favorite Christmas party. Yes. Yeah. Check it out. I kind of wish Grand Avenue was de decorated for the good old Festivus, the best of us. Let's check if the It's a Wonderful Christmas Shop is open. Yes, but they got the music going. You hear it? Yeah. The little man just snoozing Fine. away. Ooh, okay, so we came back here to It's a Wonderful Shop because that's our favorite movie of all time, not just Christmas. They have the really bad It's Closed sign. So this is the We're Not Even Closed for the Day. This is that we're yeah, still. We didn't have social distance marketing on the ground. Right, this, that sign, these are the signs that we were seeing everywhere, right? As the theme parks were opening and like ha only 10% of the shops were open. These are the ones, these are the big ones that say, sorry, we are closed. That's like, they have not reopened yet. And they even say, please visit Cel Celebrity I, Five and Die. Being over here, if I like close my eyes, it's like 2002, and studios is in its prime. And I'm sad about it. I don't know. Sarah has a very deep, 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 honest and true love for old MGM. Yeah. And it I only witnessed that part. for like three, four months before they really started closing things down and changing yeah. things. I wish I knew it, because I loved I, it. Like, it's a feeling that I only feel like in this area. Backlot was one of my favorite rides. Do you remember that? Yes. But we do love it now. Just, we love it that's now. That's like how like, we love Happily Ever After, but you always, yeah, it's just, wishes always conquers. I just can't, it's a feeling that like I won't, I can't have here. Oh, look at that Christmas tree, Tartare, tree, Tartare, baby, Sarah, Mickey Mouse pants. And all of the ornaments in the water, and Gertie's all dressed up. Love all the, the vintage, like porcelain-y decorations. Also, even the, even, what is that called? Even the umbrellas are festive. And Santa, just the best park at Christmas. Look at this comfy sweater. And these jammies, so cute. And this, love it, love it. Hello. Mm. 
<laughs> she wagged her tail a little bit. Many hours later. We've just been chilling on the couch. I've watched about a thousand episodes of How I Met Your Mother. I actually had to do a little work when I came home, but that didn't take too long. And uh, at some moment, James is going to wake up. We're going to get him in his pajamas. And his swaddle. And we're going to see if we can uh, get some sleep tonight. Oh, also, that adorable puppy is happening. November 19th. Ring the bells that can still ring. Forget your perfect offering. There is a crack. A crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. Leonard Cohen. Okay, but look at how cute he looks when he's swaddled. It was a big day in the Brookhart household because... His umbilical cord fell off. Mm-hmm. So now he can go scuba diving and you can go skydiving fishing i'm thinking of water sports i he, he could have gone fishing before you don't go in the water for fishing right fly fishing you wear high boots for that <laughs> imagine him in baby high boots we already have a pair of swimming trunks so mm -hmm. and we've got some dvc stays coming out I can't swim. Sarah can't yet. Just the boys can. Yeah. We should look that up. Are we sure? Yeah. Okay. Six weeks? Because it's like the same thing as taking a bath. Yeah. Six weeks. Well, me and James are going swimming. If it's not too chilly. Family traditions is what we're going over. When we watched How I Met Your Mother for the very first time, we would fist pump during the opening theme song. And it's just stuck. We've just done it ever since. Mm -hmm. And every time one of us forgets to do it, the other one gives the other person a really dirty look. Like, how dare you forget? Like, blasphemer. And the first time that James watched an episode, he fist pumped. Alright, you guys. It's Tomorrow's late. Friday. And this is like my first week as like a stay-at-home mom. I mean, I've been like a stay-at-home person <laughs> for a long time. But I was already like, what day is it? Like, is tomorrow Friday? Tomorrow's Friday. Oh, wait, he's smiling. Oh, tomorrow's <laughs> Friday, and I think we're going to try to get a tree. A Christmas tree. Fresh Christmas tree. There was a plot around the corner that had it. There's a place down the road that I think we're going to go to. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>